I created the stars, the moon, the sun, and the red burning fire. But better and greater than all, I created the righteous man. Thus spake Ahura Mazda, god of the Zoroastrians. In the roster of the world's religions, those who today follow the teachings of Zoroaster are very few. But their ancient doctrine has had a profound influence on world thought. Most of them live in Bombay, India, where each of their fire temples enshrines a flame that has burned continuously for many centuries. It is a sacred symbol representing the idea of truth, which must never be allowed to die. The word Parsi means Persian. It's the name given to Zoroastrians who fled to India from persecution over a thousand years ago. Zoroaster is considered to have lived around 600 BC, and his religious ideas, very advanced for those times, grew in acceptance until Zoroastrianism became the official religion of the great Persian Empire. The beauty and brilliance of Zoroaster's inspired thought still glows in scripture called the Zend Avesta, all that remains of writings which were mostly destroyed when the empire finally fell. Parsi parents are responsible for the moral and religious education of their children and will be considered to have failed their duty if one ever commits a bad action. In the initiation ceremony, the child is invested with two articles from which he will never be parted. The first is a white shirt, always worn next to the body as a reminder to maintain purity of thought. The second article is a sacred thread, which is thought to have existed as a symbol even before Zoroaster. It is wound around the waists of all Parsis and retied several times each day, emblematic of principles that are said to summarize the whole duty of a devout Zoroastrian, namely, good thoughts, good words, good deeds. Tying the thread is a reminder of four cardinal spiritual commitments, belief in one God, the teachings of Zoroaster, service to humanity, and the path of righteousness. The thread also stands as a dividing line on the body, reminding Parsis not to allow physical appetites to come before higher ideals. Throughout life, tying the sacred thread is a daily ritual, followed by a command to face toward a source of light. Although worship of elements like the sun, moon, and fire goes far back into man's history, the meaning has changed considerably. With Parsis, it is wholly symbolic. First of Ahura Mazda, who is light. Then of undying truth and the purity of godliness. Of divine inspiration and spiritual power. Symbolic of the transience of life on earth and the process of purification each person must undergo to make himself worthy of God's recognition and the gift of an immortal soul. The origin of the sacred flame is a complex, lengthy process involving fires that have come from many sources, such as fire caused by lightning, fire of a shepherd, a baker, a king, a priest, a soldier, a monk, and so on. These separate flames are ultimately united only after elaborate ceremonies, which may take several years to perform. The resulting fire is then seen to be representative of the struggle, the effort, the pain, and the inspiration of all humanity, a fusing of selfish interests into broader aspects, like the brotherhood of man. Zoroaster stressed the importance of each man's immortal soul. He also is considered the originator of a doctrine that the god of goodness is opposed for control of the universe by a powerful spirit of evil. This may have come down into Christianity as the idea of the devil or Satan. 
With modern Zoroastrians, the opposing powers are thought of as aspects of the human mind. They also believe in pre-existence of the human soul, but they do not accept the idea of reincarnation, for it is taught that man has but one lifetime to make his unalterable choice, another concept which may have been adopted by the West. As each worshiper adds a token to the ceremonial fire, thoughts are centered on the light which God's truth casts upon the darkness of ignorance and the power of his goodness to dispel the shadows of ugliness and evil. They also renew three vows of responsibility toward fellow men, right thoughts, right words, right deeds. And this spirit predominates wherever Parsis join in worship of the elements. At the seaside, where water is the purifier of the earth, the devout gather to purify their hearts and rededicate their lives to principles written thousands of years ago. That nature only is good when it shall not do unto another whatever is not good for itself. To Ahura Mazda, the wisest and the best, the creator who nourished and protected us, to him and the perfection of his righteous order, be praise and glory forever. Thus spake Zoroaster. <laughs>